going on everybody? It's been a few months since I purchased Luminar Neo in hopes of ditching the Lightroom Adobe subscription. So how's that going? Well, not great and I'm about to show you why. So I got two images. I have a wildlife image of these wild horses and a pseudo macro of this just cool leaf I saw. I really like these kind of fine art photographs. So let's start here in Luminar Neo and hop into our edit. So the first thing I want to do is mask out our horses. I'll come to develop, masking, and really we have two options for something as finite as a horse masker, a bird, or any wildlife. And that is the AI mask. which has detected sky, flora, and natural ground, but not our horses. And if we look at it, it hasn't even really done a great job at that. So let's instead try object select, because we're not going to brush in a horse. And there's one horse, there's two. We've added them in. And looking at the selection, you can see did an okay job, but it's missing some ear, it's missing some legs, it's grabbing quite a bit of brush. But we'll go ahead with our edit here. So typically what I do is just kind of brighten those up and lift the shadow some. Real quick edits here. I normally take a lot more time, but just to show you guys what's going on. So let's close that, open a, another develop module, masking, object select. This time we'll subtract our horses. Adjustments, darken everything else down. Come to our color and cool it off a little. And you can see that looks awful. I've tried it many different ways, got the same problem each time. Got this kind of weird halo around the horses, especially down here with the brush and the legs. It just looks cut out. It does not look good. I'm having this problem with my wildlife and especially with birds with their intricate feathers. But let's do the same thing in Lightroom. Open masking. I like to use the object selection for most things. And I like to paint it in rather than use the rectangle. And there's our horse. A lot better selection. I mean, still not absolutely perfect where the brush is, but way better. And now we can just hit add object. Let's paint in this other guy. And there we go. Another almost perfect selection. Got a little bit of brush in there, but it's not nearly as bad. I don't think we'll notice it. Okay, so let's brighten our horses. Lift the shadows. Now all we have to do is right click on our mask, duplicate and invert, darken it down some, and let's cool it off. It's a little too dark. Let's. There we go. Like I said, just a real quick edit, but look how much better that looks. None of that funky halo. And that's the main reason I'm not liking Luminar Neo for my wildlife. And that brings us to our next problem, which is noise reduction. So let's go ahead and work on this leaf here in Lightroom. I'm going to start with a square crop. Something like that. Go right in the masking. Object select. And let's just see if we can't paint the whole thing in. And we missed a little bit of the leaf. Let's go ahead and hit Add. 
objects. We couldn't even do this in the other program. My computer is kind of struggling a little here. But there we go, a perfect selection. So now let's go ahead and brighten this. Increase the saturation. Take the texture up. And now all we have to do is duplicate and invert. And I want to take the background down and cool it off just for a little contrast there. So to me that's looking pretty good, but we have a lot of noise. Generally when I shoot these type of photos, I'm in kind of low lighting, handheld, because it's hard to manage a tripod up in the bushes and stuff. Just my preferred way of shooting. So I do have to come back and do some denoise because of the higher ISO. But I love Lightroom's AI denoise. So we'll just click that. Move this to a spot where we can see some background and subject. And we'll take the slider down and lift it back up till we see where we want it. And I like it there about 60. Click Enhance. The program do its thing. And it took about 10 seconds with OBS running and Lightroom and Luminar open. And that just looks gorgeous. Look at what a good job it did cleaning that up. We still have all our detail. I like that a lot. The only other thing I might do is I see kind of a dust spot or something here. I'll take that out. And I really like that photo. To me, I consider that a nice fine art photograph. I think it's really pretty. Really clean, it'd look great in a print. So let's hop over here into Luminar. Look at our leaf. And I've tried this different ways, running denoise first, running it last. I haven't noticed a difference because it's first in the order here that they present it. We will go with that. And once again, about 10 seconds, it suggested using the high adjustment and... To me, that looks awful. can try bringing back some detail and some sharpness, but to me, the leaf looks like it's lost a lot of detail. The background is splotchy. A lot of that noise isn't gone. In medium, we get a little more detail back, but more noise in the background. And low doesn't look like it did much of anything, except for take some detail out of the leaves. So we'll go with the suggested high and have our detail and sharpness all the way up to try and retrieve some of that, but I'm really not seeing it. Let's go ahead and do our crop. And we'll hop in the masking. Develop, masking, let's try our AI. And the only thing it says is there is sky, which there is zero of. So that is not going to work. So let's go masking object select. Can do our leaf. I see a little bit of bleed over our stem and our branch. And you can tell it's not the greatest selection. We're missing some branch. We have some bleed over in the leaf. But let's go ahead and do our edit, adjustment, lift the exposure, warm it up a little, bring our sharpness up some, and now we'll open another develop, masking, object select, this time we'll subtract. Make our adjustments, darkening it down, cooling it off. I mean, compared to Lightroom, 
That looks like rubbish. I want to print it. I want to share it. I don't even need to mess around with removing that spot. It just looks awful. So that's it guys, my take on Luminar Neo. I was enjoying it for landscape in the beginning. I was enjoying all those creative features, but when I dug a little deeper and got into my nature and wildlife photography, I found the masking really lacking as well as that artificial noise reduction. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't, drop a comment down below, and until next time.